Hi guys, Victoria Paxton here. Thanks for stopping back by my YouTube channel. Okay guys, so first of all, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's free. Um, pay no attention to the hair. Having a bad hair day. Let me just leave it right there, okay? Okay, so today we're talking about Lisa White. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't there wasn't a huge amount on her out there as far as the research aspect of it. Um, okay, my camera's going blurry, so what am I doing wrong? I'm sure it has to do with something I'm doing. Because <laughs> why not? It's a Monday, right? Okay. So Lisa Joy White was born on February 2nd, 1961. She went missing in 1974 after walking home from a friend's house. She has a history of, okay. This stuff I hate seeing. You know, when someone goes missing, there's zero justification for it. You know what I mean? I don't care what the situation is. Like it really ticks me off when, especially like in a case like this, I go to research and this stuff really ticks me off. Like, I don't care, you know, because it goes on to say she had a history of underage drinking. She was known to be romantically involved with older males. She had left a note for her mother indicating she was going to run away with one of them. I don't care if she were having sex with every 30-year-old man she could find and she was young. You know what I mean? Like, there's no justification. <sighs> Ugh. So foul play is expected in her case, and a lot of people speculated that her case was somehow connected to the case of Janice Pocket, which I have a video on already. She disappeared from Vernon, Connecticut on November 1st of 1974. She was five foot tall, 110 pounds. She was last seen in, excuse me, she was last seen in a pair of green pants and a denim jacket. A task force was formed to investigate the disappearance of three girls from the Vernon and Tolan area, which Janice Pocket was part of. Um, more than 40 years, uh, more than 40 years ago, they developed a list of suspects, conducted searches um, in three locations, and they planned a bunch of searches. State and Vernon police detectives are on the uh, Tolan County cold case squad, along with Gdansky and two analysts one of whom works in the chief state's attorney's office and the other in the Tolan state's attorney's office. The night before her disappearance, she'd been arrested for underage drinking and her parents grounded her. Here we go again. She was arrested for underage drinking. Whoopee two shoes. She doesn't deserve to disappear and die. Um, it, it just bugs me when they put that stuff. Okay, so after her mother went to work at 4.30 p.m., she sneaked out to go visit a friend on Prospect Street in Rockville, Connecticut, which was two miles away. Following her visit with her friend at 7.30, she started walking back home. She never arrived and she's never been heard or seen from since. Um, heard or s heard from or seen. <laughs> Sorry. Monday. Lisa left a note for her mother saying she was in love with an older boy. And you seem to think I'm a little girl, but I'm not. I mean... I went through this as a teenage girl. I mean, not to this extent, but you know what I mean? We always think we're more mature than what we are. It's, it's so sad because someone obviously took advantage of that. Okay, so according to her sister, she ran around with older boys and some adult men. Um, the police initially believed she had run away, I'm sure, because of that note that she left her mom, you know. Okay, so... I wasn't able to connect with Lisa. Um, oh, and once again, of course, I'm I'm doing a video, so there's people mowing outside. <laughs> Yay! Thank you for mowing every time I try to do a video, people. Okay, so in this situation, I wasn't able to connect with her. I was able to see a few things. I'm kind of wondering if maybe she's been reincarnated. Um, I know a lot of, not everybody believes in that and it is what it is, but when it's, you know, an older disappearance like this, 
a lot of times I can't connect. And like I said, it would make sense if they were reincarnated. You know what I mean? Just because I can't connect doesn't mean I wasn't seeing things. Like my eyes were opened up to seeing things. And um, let me get this just right. So I kept seeing this man and I was seeing this man before I even started working on this. Before I even tried to connect with her, I was seeing this man, okay? He had like shoulder length straight hair. Um, his hair was really dark brown, like not like light brown, like, you know, I have 50 colors in my hair, but not like light brown, but like a really dark brown to where it almost looked like, like a jet black. It was like really, really dark. Um, and I know a lot of people say, oh, he had dark brown hair and it's like, you know, medium brown like mine, but I'm talking like really dark, dark, dark brown to where it basically you look at it, it looks like it's jet black, you know? Um, here's the other thing. <laughs> he had a really thick, dark brown mustache, but now his mustache wasn't near as dark as his hair. Okay. Um, and it was like a thick mustache. And nowadays the kids joke and say, oh, that's a porn stash. But you know what I mean? But back then, like it was totally in style back then. So I do see that. I kept feeling like, uh, Lisa knew him. I feel like she knew him. Like she was comfortable around him. So she had obviously been around him before. Um, I don't know. Obviously, I only know what I get. I don't know uh, to what extent she was comfortable with him. You know what I mean? He's like five foot tall, skinny. So, you know, five foot tall, 150, maybe five foot tall, 160 pounds, something like that. Like he was on the slend more slender than heavier side. Um, here was the other thing. I hate when people say he was between, like in the Delphi murders, he was between 20 and 50. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but here I go. I'm going to say it. This guy could have been 18. He could have been 25. I mean, he was really young. Um, some 18 year old guys can grow really nice mustaches. So I, you know what I mean? Like I would tend to lean more towards pushing more towards 25 bracket than I would the 18, but he was really young looking. I mean, um, when I was seeing this guy, I was seeing him just totally enraged, just seething with rage and anger. Um, and I feel like that was on Lisa. I feel like, I feel like he was angry with her. And after I'm getting that, I'm getting like, um, okay, so in this particular case, I don't know about the other people that she dated or whatever, but in this particular case, I feel like, I feel like she had lied about her age and I feel like he figured it out or she told him or something. And that this was the rage I'm seeing. It was his reaction to it. Um, you know, he may have realized, oh crap, I could go to jail for this, you know? Um, and unfortunately I felt like I was seeing like that rage was coming out on her. So by seeing all the things that I saw, I think he killed her. I think he became enraged. I think he was just out of control and I think he killed her. Um, and the, uh, the unfortunate thing is he just disposed of her like she was nothing. Um, and he, I feel like, you know, he was just kind of like, eh, it happens, you know? Um, so this guy really scares me though. He does scare me because I was seeing all this and I was also seeing like, I feel like he's harmed. He's like hurt other girls. Um, it almost to me feels like it's been like a, like he's had a history of this through the years. Um, yeah, I wish I was getting more details, but I'm not. And like I said, a lot of times, you know, it could be because Lisa has been reborn into another life. Um, but you know, a lot of people 
flash back to their old lives and they see things. There's been, I mean, if you look it up through history, there have been people that see something specifically and they're like, why am I seeing this? Because they lived in the past life, you know, especially like the larger tragedies and stuff. And, you know, or if you died in a tragic manner, that's what I should say. Um, yeah, so that's what I was getting. Um, I wish I were able to get more, but unfortunately that's all I got. So be nice, be kind, stay safe, stay healthy. This stuff is for real. The president of our country has COVID and so does his wife. And, you know, hopefully people will take this seriously, you know, cause people have died from this crap. Um, yeah, so just stay safe and got another Friday night live coming on Friday night and we have a really great group of people in there and it would be cool if you would join us. Um, that about does it for me. Bye guys.